Kim Kardashian actually. Any girl who like is famous and idolized because she made a sex video with some guy and that's like all that she's known for. Oh, I got my fame from sucking dick. I think it's so stupid. Sorry, but it's true. <laughs> we talk about separate but equal, but you know, having even mentioned the Floyd Mayweather fight, they're walking away with, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars at stake. You being at the at the height of your sport, maybe make what a, a million dollars at most per fight. Does that anger you? And what can we do to change that? Uh, I don't like to talk about exactly how much money I make, but I'm extremely comfortable and happy. You are. Yes. Okay. So and uh, you know, if I got to a point where I had almost 50 fights, I would probably be making close to the same amount of money that Floyd does. But at this point, I have 11. So <laughs> I can't expect it to be exactly um, equal yet. I don't think. So many like ridiculous arguments that MMA is somehow anti-woman. Mm. And fighting's not a man's thing, it's a human thing. To say that it's anti-woman, I think, is an anti-feminist statement. And the UFC, I mean, I'm the biggest draw in the sport and I'm a woman. How is that anti-woman? You are the biggest draw. <laughs> and uh, like 14 seconds, as, as Charles Barkley was saying in here, uh, setting a record, breaking your own record. But like in superheroes, and a lot of Hollywood is coming out that the representation is very over-sexualized. What do you think about the portrayal in media? Of like superheroes? Superhero women? Superhero women? women yeah. I, mean, I mean, the guys have like 16 packs. I mean, it's, it's, it's very much like an over-idealized idea of what, you know, a human being should be. And so, you know, um, I think that the, the male superheroes are overly masculinized and you know the women are overly feminized and you know I think that's just part of like the whole superhero universe really. Lauren down here from the Herald Sun again. Um, just another quick one about Angela's question on equality just before. Um, we've got quite a large pay dispute happening with our Australian women's soccer team at the moment. Um, is it frustrating for you as someone who's so prominent in your sport and we heard you say on the Ellen show the other day, you are the richest fighter in UFC, that that sort of thing is still going on. I think that how much you get paid should have something to do with how much money you bring in. I'm the highest paid fighter, not because Dana and Lorenzo wanted to do something nice to the ladies. <laughs> They do it because I bring in the highest numbers. They do it because I make them the most money. And I think that the money that she, they make should be proportionate to the money that they bring in. You've also said that MMA is the most pro-woman sport in the world. It's true. Why? Why are why, why you so convicted to that? Why? Because for the first time ever, there's no distinction between men and women in a sport. There's WNBA, there's women's tennis, there's all these W's everywhere. And um, just uh, a few months ago, women were introduced into the octagon for the first time just as, just as bantamweights. Mm -hmm. There was no need to put the women in front because they don't say men's bantamweight division. Why do they have to say women's? And it's the first sport in the world to completely eradicate the, um, the separation. And so when the women are introduced in their titles, I'm, I'm the UFC bantamweight champion. I'm, I'm not the UFC women's bantamweight champion because... Um, the guys aren't the, the UFC men's bantamweight champion, so they totally got rid of it. And it's the only sport in the world to do that.